Hey, fourth grade, ready for your art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher? You guys have been working with simple machines. Your expedition was about the forces of change. Your guiding questions, how can I be a positive force in the change of my community? How did the American Revolution and its events leading up to it affect the colonial people? How, did, how does one's perspective influence his or her opinions? How could simple machines improve playgrounds to include children with disabilities? And how did my service project impact positive change in the community? Your learning targets for today. I can identify simple machines. I can draw a wedge to show the function of a simple machine. And I can fill in my page and color in completely. Today, uh, before we begin today, you're going to need paper, lighter, printing paper is fine, <clears throat> a pencil and eraser, and some coloring supplies. Again, crayons, color, uh, crayons, color pencils, markers, any of those work. You are going to be drawing big, don't forget. Today, we are working with the wedge. A wedge is two inclined planes put together, and you put force on it, the top, to split something. Something. Anything. We're going to show you, um, show you a little bit more about that in a moment, but I want you to take a look. That triangle. The hammer is the input force. It doesn't have to be a hammer. If you had a wedge and you were stepping on it and stomping on it, that would also be the input force. The inclined planes, which are together, push out with output force and split whatever it is in half. Now, the most common and probably one of the earliest ones we ever came up with as people was to split wood. It could be an axe, or in this case, it could just be a wedge that was hit with a hammer. And you can see that it's splitting the log in half. Another one that I thought was very interesting is a knife cutting a cake. So, the knife blade, as it says, acts as the wedge with your hand putting the input force down and the output cutting the cake in half. Today we're going to be working with a simple illustration to figure out or to remind you about what the wedge is and what it does. Here I have it splitting what looks like a piece of rock or a stone in half. When we work on it you get to decide what it is that you are going to be splitting in half. So, I'm going to start with mine. Uh, I'm going to stick, actually I'm going to change something a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my first design kind of like a big circle. It's not very big, I mean, there you go, that's a little bit better. I can erase. That extra stuff that I messed up on. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I can fix some of this line. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the triangle part that my wedge is going to be down in. To go ahead and draw the wedge splitting this mysterious object that you don't know what it is yet. Before I go too much farther, I do want to add in the word wedge that helps us remember what it is that we're working with. So since D is the middle of the word, I just went ahead. I'll draw a great big D, then I'll do the E, and then on this side, there we go. If you want to draw something coming down on it, like I'll draw make it look like there's a hand 
hitting it. Thump. That works. Let's fix that finger because that looks terrible. I'll fix these up here. Make it look a little bit more like. And I can put. There we go. So, I've got my wedge. Now, what is it that I am going to be working on? I am going to make it look like it is wedging. A giant peppermint candy. Now, during your project, you get to decide what you want it to be. Do you want it to wedge just a regular stone block, a piece of wood, or you can make it wedging into a cake. Maybe don't copy my peppermint. easier ones of the simple machine. It's pretty basic really. Look, I'm going to even put the detail so I know that it goes all the way around. I'll make my wedge one color. I'm going to make my word All right, almost done. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna draw my wedge coming down. Ta-da! Pretty simple, pretty easy. I want you to show me your part. You are going to be following the steps, draw a wedge. Create the object that your wedge is cleaving in half and color the whole thing. If you have any questions, you can email me at afrans at amanaacademy.org. The links below should have a link to the Google folder. And I will see you next time, fourth grade.